All right, time for another math easy solution. Today we're gonna discuss. Uh, well, we're gonna prove that e equals to 2.7182813 and so on. I'm just gonna show a simple proof. On my other video, I showed what uh, e is basically defined as uh, a number. So e is just a number such uh, such that if you have uh, f of x equals e to the x then the slope at 0 equals 1 and its derivative is just going to be fx equals itself so this is basically what it's defined as so just a and if you saw my other video on uh, if it's if it's anything but e uh, the derivative would just be this uh, if you have fx equals a to the x then this is just a random number. I showed in my other video that this is in this regular exponential function. This the derivative would be f prime of zero times a to the x. So all we do is get rid of this based on this definition of e. So I'll show you how we can get this. Okay, so how we can actually determine this number. So here's a simple proof. Let, let's say f of x equals ln x. This is basically uh, natural log or log base e of x. I'll show you uh, another video once I go through logs there, but I'll just, if you already know this, it'd be pretty good. So let's say, and we know that the derivative of this, the uh, yeah, derivative of fx, I'll show another video of proof, but uh, this is just equal to 1 over x. And then we know also that f prime of uh, of let's say of one, this one's just going to equal to well one over one equals one. And uh, also, uh, if you have let's say ln of one, I'll show you why this, I'll be doing all this soon. This one would just be equal to well zero. Uh, I'll show you in logs how they work. Because basically, if you have e to the let's say a equals zero, yeah, this is basically how logs are. So let's not write zero. Let's write um, yeah b. So basically logs kind of like here's a simple explanation. I'll go further detail later. So if you have this will just be log yeah, log base e of b equals a. And if this is if this is one if this is one in this case then the only way it's one is if well this is zero. So the only way is e to zero equals one. So basically, yeah, a is uh, yeah. So this one is true. So okay, so now we have that. So now, so now uh, we know that yeah, the f prime of one is is one. But if we look at the, the uh, definition of derivative, if we look at that, so we'll get let's say f prime of one equals to limit as h approaches zero of what is this? Yeah, f, f of you yeah, have f one plus h. The, def, the derivative definition we just replaced x with a one, and minus f of one divided by h. So then, if we plug those numbers in, we'll get basically limit h approaches zero of ln one plus h minus ln one, which is zero over h and also uh well just to rewrite it to get rid of the h i just want to rewrite it yeah so i just want to rewrite it in terms of x so we're just gonna go f prime of one equals to limit as x just changes uh, just so, this is used more often yeah so yeah so we'll just replace the h with an x just so this is used more often so now if we simplify this this is zero which i showed above then we're just going to get limit x approaches 0 of, well, ln 1 over x divided by x. And if you look at the, the log rules, if you have something like, here's a log rule, I'll show you a proof of this. If you have, let's say, ln or log, um, let's say, x, and then this is, if you have 1 over, yeah, if you have 2 or what, whatnot, if you have 1 over 2, I guess, uh, you just drag it down here, so this would just be equal to. Yeah, so this is just equal to one over two times ln ln x, and vice versa. So in this case, you have the one over x, 
So then we're going to get, let's drag this down, this will be f prime of 1, which would equal to limit as x approaches 0. And then you get, using this rules, I'll prove it later, you basically drag it up top so you have ln 1 plus x, power of 1 over x. Okay, so now, but we know that f prime of 1 for this is equal to 1. There it is, equal to 1. Uh, so then this equals to 1. And so now what we can do actually is is put these both to the power of e. So we'll just do this. We'll have, we'll put an e here. Because we're not really changing anything. We're doing the same thing to both sides. So we'll put that all in the exponent. And it's all in the exponent. And then with limits, show you later, you can, uh, this just goes inside. So this will just be, yeah, so you'll just get e. So yeah, not, yeah, so then th this e goes inside. So you'll just get limit as x approaches 0 of e to the ln 1 plus x, 1 over x. Well, e to the 1 is just e, so it's e. And then uh, here is another log rule. What you could do is, I'll prove this one also later, and once I discuss logs, you'll have, if you have a to the log base a of whatever x just equals whatever is inside. This cancels if this a, in this case e in natural log, that's e. So then this one we'll get, we'll just get limit as x, x approaches 0. This cancels, right? So then we'll just get 1 plus x, 1 over x equals e. So there is the proof. As a sim well, somewhat simple proof. So there is the, it's basically e is a limit of this. And e is a, a rational number. I'll show you in my other video what a rational and rational numbers are. Rational, it uh, doesn't repeat and whatnot. I mean, doesn't, yeah, it, yeah, it doesn't repeat uh, like then that's that's why as in there's no pattern, and it goes on forever. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so it's also a transcendental number. You can see my other video on what these are transcendental. I think something like that. So it's also that. Uh, that it's it's like pi. So basically now if, if we put in a calculator, so yeah, let, let's just put in the calculator. So let's say for say pick a small number because you can't put x is 0 if you put x equals 0 you'll just get 1 plus 0 over 1 over 0 which doesn't make which you can't do so you can't do so basically yeah, with limits I'll show you more depth later so basically if you put in a calculator let's go with uh, x say something small like point zero 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 one we'll, we'll just get well, basically, e or this number. So we'll get one plus point zero 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 one over one divided by point zero 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 one, and this would equal if you put the calculator. Yeah. So we just drag this calculator inside, and then we just put this inside. We just type it up here: one plus point zero zero one to the power of one divided by point zero zero point zero zero one now this equals to well yeah two point seven one four so this is two point seven one eight one four five nine so we'll get two point seven one eight one four five nine three and it uh, keeps going on if we look at what uh, really was so this is 2.72813 so basically we got to go in more depth so I'll, I'll, tr I'll do one more and see that it gets closer and closer so it, yeah it basically gets closer and closer so uh, we'll try x equals point zero 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 oh, let's get another zero let's get six zeros one and then we'll get if we put in this uh, this calculator again so let's go with let's add three more zeros one two three one two three and then this yeah so it's getting closer and closer the other one was one eight three this is two eight seven one eight two eight one six nine 
And uh, if you were to put E inside, let's see what E is. So E is, yeah, 28, yeah, so 169 is 183. So you got to go into more more decimal places and you'll get closer and closer. Well, yeah, so that's basically, let's close this. Yeah, so that's basically a little proof of how to get E and, and um, why it's that. And basically, yeah, you, you use that lawn of it. So, well, yeah, hopefully you learned uh, about E, how you get it. It's 2.718, blah, 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 goes on forever. And then using definition derivative, this is really important. You always remember this. You can always apply it to many things. And, yeah, I'll show another video how to go through logs and the natural log. So this is also called natural log. Those sort of logarithms and whatnot that is very useful and helpful in uh, calculating such stuff like this. Well, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution.